Hey guys, let me show you a couple of ways in which we can record, connect uh, external devices synth into Cubase. And the first one is pretty straightforward. We'll get the audio from the synth into Cubase and then we'll create a MIDI track and control that. But the other method is very cool. Well, I'm gonna show you how you can create sort of a VST that you can load into an instrument track. And that's really, really cool. So let's get started. Right, so I have my uh, setup here. And as you can see, we have this Odyssey MIDI device and I'm gonna show you what is that exactly in a moment. But before that, let's go to method number one. So as I said, method number one, we're going to connect our synth through our audio interface and into Cubase. And then I'm gonna create a MIDI track to control that. So let's see how that works. So right click, audio track, and I'm using mono in. So let's see what that exactly, and I'm gonna name this one Odyssey. And we have this track here. And now let's see in the audio connections, what we have in audio in. So I have my um, my audio in my, well, I'm using Go XLR. This is a kind of an audio interface that allows me to record this tutorial, but uh, you will find here the input from your device. So this is the one I'm using, the uh, dry mic, but well, each of the interfaces will have different inputs. So that's what I'm using here. So that's the mono in. And now when I'm playing anything on my synth here, this is a Behringer Odyssey. So let me show you. Right, so it all goes in and I'm using the keyboard on the synth. So now what I wanna do is I want to create a MIDI track, add track MIDI and we'll call this one Odyssey MIDI. Right, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to send the, uh, the MIDI from this track and into Odyssey. Now, it is important to connect the synth both with the audio and the MIDI uh, so that everything is tied together. And so, so that's the Odyssey MIDI, and you'll see that I have the MIDI outputs here. So I'm selecting that, and you will find your own um, device here. You will find whatever synth that you have, and you need to probably check your, uh, your user manual and see how this is set up with your synth. So this is what I'm selecting. And now when I'll play my uh, my keyboard, my MIDI keyboard here that you don't see, but I, I have a complete control MIDI keyboard, it will play the Odyssey. And I can actually uh, have a MIDI uh, program here. Right, and I can record that. So um, I'll just hit record. Right, you get the idea. So this is the first method, very easy and very effective. It works perfect. But now let me show you something a little bit more advanced. So now let me show you another way to connect your external devices and synth into Cubase. And we're going to do this in a way that the synth will be sort of a virtual instrument, like something you can load into an instrument track. So now let's open our audio connections, F4, and we have external instruments tab here. So usually we're using inputs and outputs, but now we're going to use the external instruments. And let's click add external instrument, and we can name this Odyssey. 
because I'm using my Behringer Odyssey and we need to set the mono returns and stereo returns. So this means that we are connecting our audio uh, from our synth into our audio device here to our uh, um, audio interface and well we might have mono we might have stereo so in my case i have one mono return and zero stereo but this is really depends on on your device and next let's as associate a midi device to this so i'm going to click this create device and we'll call this odyssey midi device And you don't need to do anything else, just let's click OK. And well, what this means is that we connected both the audio line and we have the MIDI line. So we need both of them because we want to control our synth from Cubase using MIDI. So next we need to set the uh, device port. So I'm going to click this and I'm going to select in my case this uh, input. So again, really depends on your audio device. So this is the channel, this is the port where my synth is connected to my audio device. But that's not all. So now I'm going into my Odyssey MIDI device here and I'm going to click this and open up the uh, MIDI device manager. So now I need to set something else. I need to make sure that my selected device, this one, Odyssey MIDI device, is also connected to uh, my synth here. And now everything is tied together. So what this means is that when I'm playing MIDI in, uh, in Cubase uh, using my keyboard, it will go into the output and into my synth. So let's create an instrument track. Right click, add track, instrument, and I'm going to find that uh, instrument that we created. So we're going to find this under Steinberg, external plugins, and there we have Odyssey MIDI device. I'm gonna select that, click add, and now we have this uh, device here, this uh, instrument. Right, so I actually created an instrument track but loaded my new MIDI device mapping here that maps my Odyssey into Cubase. And I can actually uh, program my MIDI parts here. And let's hear how it sounds. Right. So again, what we we actually did here, let's go back F4 and we created an external instrument. We connected both the audio and the MIDI together. But now let me show you something even more <laughs> well, interesting. I can create sort of a panel and sort of a user interface. And this is really, really uh, amazing because if your device supports all kinds of MIDI uh, commands, you'll be able to create a, a real useful user interface. This is an analog synthesizer, so I don't have a lot of things that can be controlled by MIDI, but again, I'm gonna show you how it's done. So let's go into our device here, and I'm going into my uh, de MIDI device manager, and let's open device. So now, this is our Odyssey MIDI device, and we can add a panel. So when I click this, it will ask me, do I want a general size, inspector size, or channel strip size? Let's go for inspector, because it's gonna be really cool in the inspector. If you don't know, this is the inspector here, and we're going to see this pop up here. Let's click OK, and you can see the frame, and I'm not going to teach you everything, just gonna, give you an idea and uh, this will 
definitely be interesting if you uh, if you understand the potential. So I'm going to add some objects. I'm going to add a, a fader and I'm going to select this one here. I have a choice. They're, they're all the same. They, they, they will do the same, but they just look different. So I'm going to select this one and just place it here. And now it will ask me what parameter will this slider be controlling. So I'm going to create and we'll call this pitch pitch band let's call it pitch band and now what i need to do is look for the transmission so i want to transmit the midi commands uh, through uh, the the wire here so i'm going to click this and all of these commands are supported by my device but uh, i'm interested in the pitch band here and as you can see, this pitch band goes from 0 to uh, 1600, uh, um, so uh, a thousand. So I'm going to set this the same way. And again, just an example. I'm sure it's different for each device, for each synth. And let's click OK. Now it's time to go back. I'm going to save and let's play something. You get the idea. So I, I have a slider for the pitch bend here and we can set the default or the initial value for the middle and, and control of that, but that's not all. And we, we have the, the uh, device panel here. It's, it doesn't show. So I'm going to select this MIDI device and now we have this fader right here. How cool is that? So let's play again. I'm gonna play a note. So one last thing that I wanted to show you is that I can use animation station by uh, sample logic and control this uh, synth here. So if, uh, if you don't have uh, a sequencer or anything, though uh, the Odyssey does have a sequencer, but this is really cool. So let me show you how this works. I'm going to uh, select the uh, all MIDI here, but in, uh, in my Odyssey MIDI device, I'm going to set the input for the anima animation station, meaning I'm, uh, I'm going to control this new MIDI device through this uh, interface. So I'm going to hit latch and just play. That's pretty much it. So let me know in the comments if you like this idea and let me know if you have any questions. I'm sure you do. And of course, like the video if you like it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks and bye bye.